last episode, we just uh, cleared our inventory, basically. We went to Act 1, and we found that there was a really overpowered ways to store everything, so we didn't have to use all of our stash space. Would have been nice if we knew it from the beginning. But uh, now we also, uh, now we can venture into Act 4. Oh, Diablo and his minions stand a chance. Is there a new overpowered bow going to just uh, make everything drop? Ice ball done striking. I don't know, we'll have to find out. Pretty sure we're all ready to go, we already got everything. And then we went to the outer steps. Is there any, let's forget our Valkyrie item attack. There's lots of uh, corpulence outside. We probably took them down with these. I hope we did. Yeah, we did, yeah. Then I actually forgot to set it to players 8, so I probably made it a lot easier. And then we went out to the outer steps, and the demons of hell were super strong. Oh, crap. No, maybe it doesn't make a difference. Maybe it saves it. And then we killed all the demons in the outer steps. And then maybe we got to level 34. Did we? No, not yet. And then after we killed the fire golem, we got to level 34, so we got even stronger. Eventually we found the stairs to uh, the next place. Right, what was the next place? To the Plains of Despair. Where we found Doom Knights and Flesh Beats and Warped Fallen. Our Valkyrie tanked everything for us, so we didn't even have to get hit. Yeah, Valkyrie's doing really good. Wow, nice. And then our mercenary felt stronger too. Wow, everyone's just getting stronger. Everyone gets stronger in this game. The demons were everywhere. There was so many of them in the Plains of Despair. So many enemies. Then we finally found him, Izuol. Yeah, and then we killed him too. Just used all the ice spells. After a long fight, we took Israel down and we leveled up to level 35, right? After we killed Israel, we. Yeah, he didn't drop us anything, and then an angel appeared, a great beam of blue lights from the grounds. Israel came to talk to us. Tyrion was a fool to have trusted me. You see, it was I who told Diablo and his brothers about the Soul Stones and how to corrupt them. It was I who helped the Prime Evils mastermind their own exile to your world. The plan we set in motion so long ago cannot be stopped by any mortal agency. Hell itself is poised to spill forth into your world like a tidal wave of blood and nightmares. You and all of your kind. Oh no, so it's hopeless then. And the angel disappears. And then we got to level 35. Yeah, after we killed these guys here. My mercenary ghost was getting so much stronger too. Oh, damage check shows that we should stand back maybe. Level check, level check, uh... Level check shows we're level 36. Leveled up. Golems down. Took everything out. Wow, oh, what's next? Still haven't found everything. We searched this entire place. Wow. We're still not finding anything. We're getting lost. Where's the entrance? Level check. Mercenary leveled up too. Yeah. Mercenary's 35. Wow, it's pretty cheap. Mercenaries just level up too, and they're actually. That's something. 
scouting checks that reveals that we're still lost in here, so no idea where we're going. Lost in the plains of despair. Enemies everywhere. Map check still shows nothing. So nothing on the map. Found the stairs. I th Why is there stairs? I thought it was just a uh, waypoint. Oh, entering the city of the damned. Where the hell did this place enter? It's just the whole place. Mercenary felt even stronger now. Ghost was getting so strong. It's so ridiculous. It just freezes everything. Another possessed uh, fire golem. Wow, what demons possesses this one? Probably gonna level it up. Level 37. Then we killed the possessed fire golem. Probably all the demons inside too. And we leveled up to 37. Oh, we finally found it at the waypoint. Ah, uh, yeah. And then we came upon the waypoint of the City of the Damned, and then there were stairs leading down to the River of Flame, but we figured we should uh, probably go back to town because our boots are broken, we need to fix those. Our inventory is almost full again, so we gotta identify and sell everything. Now with our inventory clean once again, we head to the City of the Damned, and then down the stairs into the River of Flame. What treacherous demons were down here now? Any demons? There were no demons down here, and then we found some. We were surrounded, but uh, we killed all of them too, I think. Damage check showed that they were no problem for us too. All of us were getting stronger down here in the river of flame. Level check, we leveled up 38. Oh, we're almost level 40 already. Jeez, are we going to be 40 before the end of this? Before we get to Diablo? Eventually we came upon the waypoint to the River of Flame. It was all the way at the end. Yeah, uh, yeah, we saw that inventory space. And then we met a Hadriel. Halt! Before venturing into Diablo's lair, go to the Hellforge with Mephisto's Soul Stone. Place the stone on the Hellforge and use the Hellforge hammer to destroy it. Well, I guess we still needed uh, needed to do something. I threw that. No, I still have it. So we're off to uh, destroy Mephisto Soul Stone at the Hellforge. He said, "Right? Yeah, go into the Hellforge to destroy Mephisto's Hell Stone." If monster check revealed we were maybe in the right place. Just the place. We'll soon find out. There's stairs here. Scouting revealed this wasn't the right place. Uh oh. Uh, scouting revealed we had a good advantage up here, I guess. Anyways, yeah, we, we killed everything in this room. And then we went north to go find uh, find the, where we're supposed to go. This wasn't it. And then we headed west. Uh, no, we didn't head west. We can't go that way. So we headed north. Maybe this is where we had to go. It probably is because the last place that we left. Played one. Not on the guy. Quest logs open. Destroy my pistol. Southstone at the Hellforge. So we arrived at the Hellforge. A pistol came running at us. How did the damage check do with that decision? Outcry is alright. Oh. Damage check is okay. I wouldn't stand in front of him though. So we stayed back as our Valkyrie tank. He did quite a bit of damage actually. And then we uh, killed Hephisto the Armorer. Is he gonna drop us new ridiculous items? Or is it just gonna be more, uh, oh wow, legendary Hellforge hammer muscle belt? Might actually be able to use something like that. Oh, and our mercenary got even stronger right after this fight. Yeah, and then there was silence in the halls, yeah. And then we had this hammer, the Hellforge hammer. It could be used by any level 1, but uh, why would a level 1 use that? It's only normal. The stats are terrible. No level 1 wants that item, so we placed Mephisto's Hellstone on the Hellforge, and we hit it with this hammer. And then we're like, wow, and then everything shakes, and then lights come out, and then, wow, skeletons and souls. 
escape from the Hellforge. Wow, it's flawless. Gems, blemished, perfect. Blemished, what is blemished? Crow runes, and there's enemies appear over in here. Should have equipped our bow. And we killed the Abyss Knight too. So what did we get? Wow, we got lots of cool things. Blemished? What's a blemished? Got... Is this the superior ancient armor we've been looking for? Or is it, wow, maybe. Yeah, it does have a lot of defense. I mean, we just need 100 strength and we'd be invincible. With that quest completed, we went back to town and then we uh, talked to Tyrael. Yeah, and then he uh, gave us more rewards. Yeah, we get skill points. Yeah, we got uh, stat points or skill points, one of the two. I don't know that what armor wasn't, but uh, yeah, we got some ridiculous new rings. We got what, 6%, 8%, 8 2% more mana plus the fire assist. Wow, and then 9% life steal from 9. Jeez, 9, 9% is impossible to get. Wow, nice. Wow, stuff still looks terrible though. Not really having any luck finding any gear, we created our own, so we took some blemished gems and made the poisonous plated belt, which made us cast Poison Nova and gave us 100% poison resistance. Wow, that's insane. And then plus the Ancient Greaves and the Ancient Gauntlets. Double Life Leech, Lower Resist, Decryptify, Faster Run, Walk, Replenish. Wow, we made these. Triple Resist again, Cold Absorb. Now we are ready for Diablo, I think. We got some new charms too. Yeah, a rare one. And then it was off into the River of Flame to kill Diablo, as long as he doesn't kill me first. Proceed, hero, into Terror's lair. Know that Diablo's innermost sanctum is hidden by five seals. Only by opening each of these seals can you clear your way to the final battle. So we had to open all five of the seals so we could clear our way to the final battle. <laughs> It looks like, wow, we finally found it with a legendary crossbow. Is that any good? I don't know. I'll have to see. Stay a while and listen. Yeah, the bow definitely is better. Cause, uh, yeah, our strafe damage 354. 424. That's 70 more damage. Wow, and then the what are the stats? Fires level explosive arrows all the time, and then plus 152 maximum fire damage based on character level. Yeah, I was looking. It's like every single time we level up, we're gonna do four more damage. Is that crazy or what? Wow. Jeez, oh, just all the crazy items. Is that gonna fire explosive arrows with strafe or what? Is that do how it works? No enemies here. No, it doesn't. Fire's explosive arrows isn't going to do anything for us. Maybe unless we just use basic shot. Does that make sense? No, I don't think it would. It makes us do a lot more damage. That's the important thing. Well, I guess all the fire absorb plus 9% is pretty... Yeah, that'll help definitely against Diablo and all the others. Yeah, it's continued through the River of Flame. <coughs> Found another green item we couldn't use. Yeah sell that then. We know just to sell those now. Yeah, that's good. And then we entered the Chaos Sanctuary where Diablo lied. We had to open them for five seals first. There were a couple demons in here, but nothing we couldn't handle. There's two of them. Probably more demons inside. Yeah, there they were. Fire golems. All the enemies are dropping so much easier. We're almost uh, level 39 here pretty soon. Yeah, so what does this bow do? It's gonna be like 152 damage. One fifty-six damage. Yeah, every time we level up, we're gonna do four more damage just because of that weapon. How crazy is that, eh? It levels up with you, so wow, it's gonna uh, definitely Allow me to reach new heights. Arrow check, we're out of arrows, we're out of arrows. I mean bolts, uh, we need bolts for, bolts for the crossbow. 
level check for leveling after the golem, right? Yeah, level 40. 40 already. Wow. We were just level 33 when we started this act. Soon it was just silence in the chaos sanctuary as all the demons were defeated, so now we just had to open up the five seals, but we should probably empty our inventory first. Now that silence filled the chaos sanctuary, all that was left to do was hit the five seals. We hit the first one. Oh, enemies did appear. Enemies appeared after we hit the first seal. Lorox Knights, we probably killed them. Yeah, I think they took a while. We went up and hit the other seal while we were waiting, so we had both of these ones that missed that hit. Finding out that the enemies were way too hard, we decided to level up our skills using our skill points. Yeah, maybe that'll help Guided Arrow. And then I think we got some dexterity. Yeah, we might as well. We have so many points here, so that'll give us a lot more damage. And uh, strength. We'll get 100 strength so that we could wear some really, really sick armor. And then we'll just get 75 vitality just so we have some. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. Got 120 strength. Dexterity. There, now all of our stats and skill points are spent. Now we can go and uh, try again. Because they just had so much health, this is taking forever, though it's going to take like 30 minutes at this rate. We took down King Lorik first because he had that super annoying aura that was making him do more damage. And then eventually, after we killed all the Lorik Snipes, we leveled up. I thought this guy was going to level us up. Now we're level 41 before Diablo. Well, we get to level 42. I'll have to see what the other guys say. Next, uh, <clears throat> next was the other two CEOs. Does this uh, CEO spawn enemies? No. And then the other CEO. Then the enemy spawned. Yeah, and then the Blood Warlords. And then we probably killed them too, as long as they didn't kill us. And eventually, the Oxygen and Fowl. Yeah, and then did he. Levels up, no. Yeah, eventually he'll actually run fell and he drops us an emerald and a giant sword. We can't use either of them. Then there's only one seal left. The north seal. Probably the hardest seal of all. What was that boss going to be like? As we walked up to hit the last seal, we quickly realized that, uh, yeah, we were going to hit level 42. We just had to kill, like, one or two more guys. Uh, seal didn't open seal open there we go and we opened the seal and we found the final enemies to defeat oh and then the enemies came rushing at us too and then uh, hopefully they didn't kill us what is this damage check should i do a damage check what is that stuff oh geez i'm staying back damage check says to stay back just by telling by the enemies Oh, level check shows that my mercenary leveled up. What, level 39? I should be level 42. Level up. <clears throat> level up check uh, shows that we're level 42. Wow, so we just need some more cold resistances then. And then Black Jade was taken down. Oh, wow, we took him down. And then Red Light filled the whole sanctuary. The whole place started to rumble. Diablo was free. Not even death can save you from me. Oh wow, we're finally here. Diablo. Jeez, let's go back to town. We gotta get ready. I don't know if we're ready for this. Well, we have lots of space. On to Diablo. Was this the end of our hero? Or was Diablo going to destroy us with his flame flame wave and his thunder thunder thing? Yeah, his thunder wave. Oh, there's enemies too. What's going to happen? Damage check. Damage check. Valkyrie's dying. Phantom Lord's down. Damage check shows we're maybe fine. I think the lightning didn't do too much. But for some reason we did lose health. Phantom Lord's everywhere. Fire. How does the fire do? just Diablo now. Lightning doesn't do anything. We're fine with that. 
Now it's just these venom rods here. Nice. It's like he doesn't do anything to us. Damage check shows everything's fine. After what seemed like a really long fight that seemed to draw out for hours, Diablo was soon slain at the hands of uh, Bows on Hardcore 1. And wow, a green edge bow. Wow, I could probably use that. Wow, finally an edge bow. That's like the next tier, tier 2 nightmare items. Take the shield, sell that. And then flames flew everywhere. Then his terror has ended. Diablo has been defeated. That was the final boss of the game, so now we had to go back town and tell everybody. Wow, Diablo's defeated. That's the end of the game, everybody. Hello. Wow. We just finished Diablo. And then this bow is for a mercenary only, so I can't even use it. And then, yeah, the sword. I can't use swords. And then the terror's end was completed, quest completed now. There was absolutely nothing left to do. That was the end of Diablo. Um, yeah, and we still live. We lived through everything. We're level 42. We lived to the end. There's nothing left. So in this episode, we started from the beginning of Act 4. We cleaned our inventory last time. Yeah, we had a, absolutely more inventory space than we would ever need. And then we went to uh, whatever the first place was. And then we went to the Plains of Despair where we met uh, Izuol. Izuol didn't pose any of a challenge at all. So then we ventured to the City of the Damned and then we found the waypoint there. And went in down to the stairs into the River of Flame where we found even more demons to kill. Where we found the waypoint. Then we talked to some other angel, it was Hephisto, I think, or something like that. He told us to turn back and destroy Mephisto's soul stone before we continued on, so we had to turn around. After destroying Mephisto's soul stone, we got some blemished gems and created some super epic gear out of them. We made a poisonous plate of the elf and some other armor that was super sick. And then we moved on to the Diablo and the Chaos Sanctuary. Yeah, we cleared the Chaos Sanctuary. And then we had to open all five of the seals. We defeated all three of the bosses. We got to level 42, yeah. And then Diablo, the Reign of Terror, came out, rawr, and then the whole place was shaking and red. And then we ran up to him, and he posed no trouble at all. So now the world is saved. Diablo is saved once again because of Zozok. Bo is on Hardcore 1. Wow, what a story. We're level 42 and we're not dead yet, that's still good.